Hello buddy, it's Ben Dominator and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm finally making my full review on Chapter 3, Season 1. And guys, I gotta say, it's been such a long time since I've been able to be this positive about a Fortnite season. I know there's seasons in Chapter 2 that I really enjoyed, but if you look at a lot of my reviews from Chapter 2, most of them weren't really that positive. But in this video, I do have some cons about this season, but overall, I can already tell I am going to miss this season. And that's not usually something I say, well, the season is still going on. We have a week left of it, and I already know that this season is going to be one of my favorites ever. And yeah, that's just truly how I feel about it. And again, it is really weird because we are in the end of the season. This is the time of the season. You would think I would be tired of this season, but I'm not. I just am in love with it. It's just amazing. And yes, again, I said I have some issues with it, but... I just think that this is probably the most underappreciated season we've ever had. You can tell Epic really poured everything they've got into this season. And yes, that does make me a bit worried for next season because I feel like they could be running out of steam early in the chapter, but I'm gonna hope that's not the case. I'm gonna hope that they're gonna keep up this pace, and if they do, this chapter is gonna be incredible. But I truly think that a lot of people really just don't appreciate how much Epic has actually put into this season. This season seems like a season that everyone would love. It seems like we've gotten everything that anybody could ever ask for in this season, but it seems like the general consensus is that the season isn't that great. And I know there's a lot of people who like it, I know there's a lot of people who don't like it, but from what I've seen, it feels like the general consensus for the season is pretty negative. And that's something that really surprises me, because they've pretty much given us most of what people have been asking for. They gave us Tilted Towers, they gave us a brand new, really fun map with a bunch of amazing POIs that are reminiscent of Chapter 1, and they gave us Covert Cavern, which is pretty much the Chapter 2 Season 2 experience within one POI. And yet, it seems most people don't really care for the season. I don't know if that's just something with Twitter and all that kind of stuff kind of giving the negative connotation out because everything's negative on the internet or whatever, but it's just kind of weird to me. It seems odd that there's so many negative opinions on this season, and, and yeah, I fully understand everyone has their own opinion to each their own, but for me, it's just, I, I can't help but just love this season. So at long last, here's my full review of Chapter 3, Season 1. And of course, before we get in the video, if you guys do end up enjoying the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new because I make videos like this all the time, and you can also use my supported creator code BENDOMINATOR in the Fortnite item shop hashtag ad. Let's go ahead and get right into the review. So after spilling all that positivity on you, I'm actually going to start with some negatives because I want to get the negatives out of the way so that I can just continue gushing about the season afterwards. So with all the cons, the main con I have is the update distribution. I talked about this in my last wishlist video that I made. But I really feel like, while the updates were amazing, they didn't really do a good job of pacing them out. I think they had too many good, really amazing updates in the middle of the season, and it kind of just left the end of the season to not really have much to work with. Of course, the beginning of the season they were on break, so we didn't really have much to work with there. We still got a really amazing winter event, and I think the brand new map and all the brand new items was enough to hold us over. But once we got to the middle of the season, we really got amazing update after amazing update. Tilted Towers, Clombos, Weather, Covert Cavern, but then after that, we've kind of just had like a month and a half of not really anything when it comes to BR, and I feel like that's really not because there wasn't enough content, I think it's because they didn't really space out the content that they had. They released Tilted and Clombos in the same exact update. Weather was released right before Tilted. Covert Cavern, another brand new POI, came out two weeks after Tilted Towers. I think they could have easily waited for. You see what I'm getting at? All the giant updates were in the middle of the season, so it left the last month to feel a little bit more stale. But even then, we still got weekly content, even if it was small updates like Wild Weeks and stuff, or just a single item being added. That's still pretty substantial. Things like pizza, I feel like, are underappreciated because that item actually added a lot to the game, even if it was just one item being added in a small content update. Things like that still add up and they do a lot of good for the game. They make things feel just a tiny bit more fresh. And it's updates like the pizza and the shield keg that I feel like we take for granted these days. 
days. If an update doesn't have a brand new POI or a brand new mythic item or something, then it's deemed not very interesting. But anyways, back to the cons, because I still have a few more. The loot pool overall has been kind of a mixed bag for me. I don't really have the same complaints that most people do. I don't really have much of a problem with the SMGs. I feel like they haven't really been that annoying for me personally, and I have a lot of fun with the Stinger anyway, and I haven't really been annoyed by anything being too overpowered. Overall, I've been mostly annoyed by things being too weak. I think, for the most part, the ARs just aren't strong enough, and while at the beginning of the season they were great, especially the MK7, I feel like they nerfed it a bit too much, and I feel like overall the loot pool has kind of gotten just a tiny bit stale, but it's things like the heavy shotgun that really add a lot to it. But I feel like they kind of should still add a few things, the Uzi's really fun, the heavy shotgun's great, I really want the standard AR back, again I talked about this in my wishlist video, stuff like that would be fun, more explosive weapons would be great, and a few more like fun, interesting items would be great, shockwaves, all that kind of stuff. I talked a lot more about the loot pool in my wishlist video for next season, so if you're interested in my thoughts on that, you can go check out that video. But overall, I don't really have a problem with the SMGs, I do kind of hope they get nerfed just for all the people who do want them to be nerfed, because I think it is important that most people are happy, especially since this whole SMG thing seems to be a huge deal for the majority of players, so I think it's definitely a big deal for Epic to nerf. Even if it doesn't really affect me, I think it's definitely important that Epic listens to that, and hopefully they'll nerf the fire rate of the SMG, because it seems like the damage nerfs didn't really do it for most people. But anyways, that's pretty much all my negatives, let's go ahead and get onto the positives. And yeah, it is crazy that I've had that little amount to say when it comes to negatives for a Fortnite season. That hasn't happened in a long time. So in terms of pros, the biggest one here is the map. I love the map. I think it's amazing. Lots of stuff that's reminiscent of chapter one, but it doesn't feel too similar, yet it does feel quite familiar. Returning POIs like Greasy Grove and of course Tilted Towers are amazing. Covert is so much fun to land at, which is surprising for me because I usually don't like henchman POIs, but I think they did it really well with Covert. Made a whole review on that POI as well. But man, this map is amazing. POIs like Sleepy Sound and Coney Crossroads are great. There's only really three POIs that I don't like that much, which is the Sanctuary, the Jonesies, and the Daily Bugle. With the Daily Bugle, it's not that I really don't like it, it's just that I just don't land there a lot. And it just has so much good variety. You got jungle, you got grasslands, you got snow, you got desert. All four of the main biomes that were here at the end of chapter one are already here at the start of chapter three. And what can I say? That's just amazing, and I just am so excited, yet kind of nervous to see what they do with this map in the future. I really don't want them to mess it up because I really like how it is right now, but I think that it is in good hands. I really hope that they bring us some really good map changes because so far the addition of Tilted Towers and Covert has just been perfect. Overall, just a great map with some great name locations, some amazing landmarks, and just amazing diversity right off the bat. I think it's too early to say, but this is definitely a very strong rival for the Chapter 1 map. I really enjoyed the Chapter 1 map for the most part, but I think this is a really strong competitor. Chapter 2 doesn't even come close for me. So next up when it comes to pros, I want to talk about the fact that we got all new weapons for this season, and while there's some negatives that come with that like I talked about before, I think overall it has been really, really fun. It's great that there's a bunch of brand new weapons to work with, and even returning weapons like the heavy shotgun and grenade launcher feel completely new due to the way that they've changed them. And yes, like I said in the con section, there are some changes that that I want to be made to the loot pool for the next season, but overall it's been so much fun having all these brand new weapons to learn, it has definitely been very very refreshing. And on top of the brand new weapons you also got amazing new items such as the shield keg and the web slingers. Especially the web slingers have been so much fun, yeah they're sometimes kind of annoying to go against but they're not too bad, and they're so much fun to use that I don't really care, definitely gonna miss them next season because yeah there's no way they're keeping those in for the next season. The brand new graphics are also also great. Yeah, they didn't change them as much as they did when Chapter 2 came out. They're very similar to Chapter 2, but a lot of the brand new, like, building pieces when it comes to all the houses and the brand new buildings and just, like, even looking at Tilted Towers compared to how it was in Chapter 1, it just looks so bright and vibrant and I love all the new textures. 
I can't wait for so many of these pieces to come to creative, so many cool props, so many cool building pieces, and overall the game just feels so good. It just feels fun, it feels like Fortnite, I feel like Chapter 2 kind of felt a little bland in terms of its art style and art direction. Yes, it still had the Fortnite flair, but it felt like they were going for more of like a realistic look to it, and I just was not a huge fan of that. But with Chapter 3, it feels a lot more cartoony again. We're never really going to go back to Chapter 1 looks ever, but in terms of a way to kind of replicate that in a new way, I think that Chapter 3 does it really well. The game feels a lot more vibrant and colorful again. It just feels amazing. I love it. The one con I actually have about the new art direction is the weapons look great, but they made them so realistic where they don't really fit the new cartoony direction that the game's going in again. Like the map and graphics and all the buildings are going back to cartoony, but then the weapons are getting more realistic, it's just kind of strange. I do kind of miss the more cartoony weapon designs that we had back in Chapter 1 and even some of Chapter 2, but it's hard for me to complain because the weapons still look amazing. But yeah, that's pretty much my full review of Chapter 3 Season 1. If you can't tell, I am definitely very excited about this season. I'm definitely gonna miss this one. I'm really trying to make the most of it as I can right now because I am just so nervous yet excited for Season 2. I'm really interested to see what they do. Season 2 is really important because it's going to show us how Epic plans to do seasons during this chapter. It's going to be a very big first impression because, yeah, season 1 was the start, but season 2 is the first brand new season on this map. So I'm really excited to see what they do. If this is how they started the chapter, I sure hope this is how they continue it because it has just been amazing so far. But let me know your opinions. What do you guys think about Chapter 3 Season 1? Leave a comment, let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new because I make videos like this all the time. You can also use my supporter creator code Ben Dominator in the Fortnite item shop, hashtag ad. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and goodbye.